la route du Friends Paradise. On va être là dans quelques secondes. Stay tuned. So as you get to Sorbonne, or Lake Bay, the first place you're going to come across is the Dunkenberg Center. Uh, and this is the Sorbonne Beach Resort. So a lot of people stay here if you windsurf. Sorbonne Beach Resort is right here. Then the next one along the road is going to be Jibe City. I'm not sure you can see the flag, uh, but Jibe City is right here. You see the entrance here to Jibe City. So that's Jibe City. And as you continue, you will get to the next one, uh, which is the windsurf place. You can't really see it here, but the windsurf place is right in there. And then as you continue, you have to continue down slowly here because the road is quite chaotic. Then here you get to the France Paradise. So as you can see, and, and the France Paradise is right there. And as we round uh, the corner here, you'll see. Uh, and again, uh, as a reminder, in front of the France Paradise, the water is deeper, or deep, I should say, so you can foil, wind foil and wing foil. Whereas you can do it in the main bay, but uh, they use very, very short mast wings to do that. So the France Paradise is there, and here you have the bay. So the France Paradise has all the sails in here. Gastra, some point sevens, um, and all of these are essentially brand new. So all this here is behind the France Paradise, and as you can see, all this is beginner stuff. Um, quite a lot of new stuff, so if you look at the starboard stuff, it's new. So as you can see here, a lot of the gear at the France Paradise is for foiling, wing foiling, wind foiling, because again, the water in front of the France Paradise is deep. This is the um, slalom, some beginner boards, uh, obviously the future fly, 117 right there and then inside here more gear right so you have some future fly boys there some are even in the bag some taboo all kinds of stuff plenty of gear here for anyone between this what's in storage what's in, still in boxes there's more than enough gear this is the beach at the France Paradise um, and the water obviously and you can see people winging the, it's absolutely gorgeous so the water here you know when you get out is shallow but it gets deep quickly and that's why people come here to wind foil and wing foil are uh, to just enjoy the absolute sheer beauty of the place the France Paradise so I'm here with uh, Firas and this is the new food truck right next to the France Paradise. All Firas, right. what do you have there? Welcome to Caribi Food and Drinks. We have the menu here. I, I'll, I I'll have, show the menu uh, in tonight, a minute. I, today I have the wahoo. I can do it in a wrap like this one or I can do it with a platter. Let's see the wrap there, Firas. Fantastic. Yeah. So fantastic food. Thank very you. good price and very fresh very fresh that's the most important and the view is amazing unbeatable and great company so uh, <laughs> people that say this i don't believe them <laughs> thank you yeah you're welcome yes This is the magical hour at the France Paradise. 5.30, 6 o'clock when the sun goes down. Sometimes it can still be windy. Tonight it's not. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The sunset 
on Sorbonne. And it's just fantastic. So this is the giant city uh, place on Sorbonne. So I'll, I'll give you a look at what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, tons of gear. Quiet, not much wind. And as usual, you bump into all kinds of people like this dude here, Mr. Nigel Hot. So this is what it looks like from Jive City. Great place, great bar. Check it out. Bar right on the water. So if this is your taste, Jive City is for you. Sometimes in Bonaire, it can get pretty gnarly with the rain. Got a bit of tropical rain here, and it's coming down hard. So when you're not windsurfing on Bonaire, you come to 10,000 Step with your family, and you go snorkeling. Or if you know how to dive, you go diving. So this is one of the many places where you just go into the water. Um, and I don't have my GoPro today, but I'll take some shots later on this week. It's unbelievable what you see under the water here uh, because Bonaire really pays attention to conservation and tries tries very, very hard to maintain coral uh, because the fauna and the, the aquatic fauna and flora is just unbelievable. So this is the Bonaire windsurfing place. I like this place because I like this deck. It's quiet, not a lot of people. Uh, and you have a beautiful view. And this is the part of the bay that's kind of shallow. So you have basically water to your hips, even when you go uh, way out there. So it's very, very good for beginners. And it's also good for people that, you know, like to go out and if you don't want to jive, you just get off, turn the board, come around. Um, it's a nice spot. Look at how beautiful this is. So the guy in front of me is Mark. Every Thursday, Mark is in the water takes pictures so just remember that Thursday from 10 30 to 12 if you windsurf right in front of the windsurfing place he's there in the water he takes shot then you can go on the website uh, uh, and then choose the shots you like and buy them and you're done it's fantastic I can show you some pictures that Mark took of me years ago I still cherish them this is the windsurfing place so a lot of gear here too look at all the gear there is here starboard RRD Tons of stuff, tons of stuff. So intermediate, advanced. And what I like about the windsurfing place is that it's quiet. So you come here, you get great advice, you get great service. And we have a lot of American friends that love old school. Oh yeah, here's some old school stuff. Wow, look at that. So you, if you want a private photo shoot, you can also get in touch with Mark. You have the details here. I hope you can read that. Uh, you have a QR code. I'll try to put that on. Uh, you just call him, book an appointment, and you'll have a great photo shoot with him, private photo shoot in Bonner. So this is uh, Sebastian's on the beach right next to the windsurfing place, which is right here. Um, nice little restaurant. Um, plenty of space inside or outside. Uh, I think it's reasonably priced. Keep in mind that this is Bonaire, so not cheap. So here you have the Bonaire windsurfing place uh, and a restaurant right next to it. You can rent a chair here uh, for $10 right in front of the bay. Beautiful. Last day in Bonaire. Very, very light wind today rare actually and naturally if you look at the forecast for the next few days it's gonna blow so long story short probably better to come in February than January high season for wind is really Feb to April May oh, but still beautiful 